Hi, this is Emily Zlanian with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm here with the cast of We Crashed. The future of work looks different. We're selling an experience. We. We need a name. We. We live. We dream. We work. So how would you introduce Rebecca Newman and her role in this story? Because she is a very interesting player. Yeah. Sure. I should probably use words that she uses to describe herself. She's intuitive. Yeah. Um, she's really smart. Um, I think she's a dreamer for sure. And, um, and she's a very soulful person. And what would you say draws her to Adam? Because it seems like at first she isn't really drawn to him at all. Um, but eventually they do form this relationship. What, what is it that she sees in him? So, um, Rebecca gave an interview with the School of Greatness podcast and she describes meeting Adam that whenever she'd, uh, met a man and she'd hadn't dated somebody, I think she even says that she'd been celibate for seven years before meeting Adam. Um, and she said that like whenever she would meet someone, a guy, that she could see a ceiling. And with Adam, she never felt a ceiling. So um, I just, I think she, there was something huge about their energy together. There was something that she felt that they were going to achieve great things together. And in many ways she was right. Absolutely. I mean, they almost have like a shorthand that we do see in the show a little bit in some of the the scenes where we see WeWork's decline begin. Um, yeah. And the two of them have this shorthand with each other. They have this really closeness. How did you develop that on screen with Jared? Man, I'd, I wish that I there was like some kind of formula to it so I could recreate it in all my projects. But the truth is he walked into the room and it was there. He walked in as Adam and I was Rebecca. And I think just based on the fact that the two of us had done our homework and believed so much in their love, we just had this energy between us and then we just did our best to get out of the way. And then, um, and I didn't really, I mean, let's be fair. We all know Jared's a really immersive actor. So I didn't really spend any time with Jared on this project. It was always kind of him as Adam and me as Rebecca. Um, and so whoever we were with each other, we just did our best to be really loving and sensitive and respectful and, um, and we were really grateful to each other. It was such a gentle experience kind of in between takes. And then once the cameras were rolling, we would just get wild and it was really focused. It was always based in character, but I mean, some of the things we did were just, I've never done anything like that before, but it was fun. It was just really, really fun. And it was there from the first take. Hi, Jared. Tell me about your character. Character. What is his role in this very, very crazy but real story? I just know that this character was, you know, incredibly, it's an incredibly compelling guy, an amazing story, absolutely, you know, one of a kind. And, you know, I love the fact that it's such a recent story as well. I mean, and then there was a, an amazing podcast and a couple of books written and tons of articles and a, a really great documentary. Um, so we, I think on so many, a lot of people have been fascinated about this story. It's a story about an immigrant who comes from Israel to New York and really builds a life for himself and, you know, and, and kind of, uh, we go on a wild journey with, with these people as they, you know, build this empire. Yeah. And while he's building that empire, we see him draw in all of these other characters into his orbit. What is it about Adam that you think draws other people to his light? Oh, I think he's a great uh, salesman. I think he's a great speaker, great orator. He's uh, really adept at conveying his passions and his vision of what is possible and motivating people to kind of reach um, further and higher. In the first episode, Adam has this, you have this fantastic line as Adam where it's, I don't want to be a billionaire. I want to be a trillionaire. Yeah. What is it that fuels this unchecked ambition of his, you think? You know, I think that he had this, an idea um, about how things could be. And, you know, he 
wasn't afraid to dream as big as possible. And in that in and of itself isn't a problem, you know. Um, it's too kind of complex to just pin it on, you know, one personality trait or, you know, his, his desire to dream big. But um, he certainly was passionate about those dreams and, uh, and certainly was infectious. Now, Kyle, introduce Miguel to us. He is WeWork's lesser known co-founder. What is this guy all about? What's, what's uh going on for him? Yeah, I mean, I think the great the great thing is that nobody knows really who Miguel was because he was such a quiet partner in, in the story uh, that we all know of what We Crashed was. But I think truly, you know, he's an architect. Fundamentally, he's an architect. But I think what he became for the company is very much sort of the paternal maternal figure. He was very much the person who cared about community and cared about sort of keeping everyone together and trying to hold the sense of uh, of group and of place and of humanity. So he gets pulled into this orbit by Adam initially. What yes. is it that you think that he finds so alluring about Adam? I think a Adam has something that he doesn't. They have the same aspirations, I think, in that they both they both truly had the capability of doing something great. And I think that sort of was the resonant sort of connection between the two of them. They both wanted to do more. They both felt like they could do more. Um, but I think what he saw in Adam was someone who was willing to be front facing, was willing to sort of put himself out there. And I think for someone who was really more about the, the architecture of a thing, the sort of way you built it and the thoughtful, quiet nature to go about building things, it was great to have a partner who was wild and out front and willing to sort of be the one to take the brunt of good and bad what the company was. Um, although I think it really drew them apart, unfortunately, as as sort of things came to a head. Um, I think it really put pressure on their relationship. Go check out We Crashed on March 18th on Apple TV Plus. And for more videos like this, like and subscribe to TVInsider.com.